calcium oxalate crystal in this experiment we are using compound microscope light adjustments are done with the help of the mirror take three watch glasses take some starch powder in it including maize or rice and some iodine drop in another watch glass little water on the third watch glass dispense a small quantity of given powder in water make a dilute solution of given sample mount on a glass slide of the dilute solution and add iodine to it with a brush and mix it properly add a drop of glycerin with a drop of mixing it uniformly place a cover slip on it such that there are no air bubbles and trapped in the dispersion that is diluted observe under microscope using 10x objective and then later adjust it to 45x let's begin with the calculation this is a slide of maize now first we have to check for starch grain and calculate according to its shape shape of maize starch is rounded or polyhedral so we have to calculate the length and breadth here we have taken maize sample in that first horizontally count the lines and take that as breadth now adjust the eyepiece vertically focusing on the same grain of which you have taken the breadth and count the lines like this we have to take 20 readings in s form that means adjust the slide by stage controls by moving it in s shape as you can see the grain on 16 on the scale there we have to measure the breadth by counting the lines so here we got 4 as breadth now we have to rotate the eyepiece vertically and count the lines on the same grain as length so here we again get four lines after taking the readings of length and breadth we have to take its average that is length plus breadth divided by 2 so here we got length as 4 and breadth as 4 so length plus breadth divided by 2 will be 4 then we have to find corrected dimension by multiplying it with 1.3 here 1.3 is the value we got after calibration of ocular micrometer and stage micrometer. So after multiplying this with 1.3 we get 5.2 like this we have to take 20 readings. Likewise we can observe and calculate for rice and potato. Adjustments are done accordingly. Next, we can use Arjuna powder, dilute it with water, mix it uniformly with the help of a paint brush. Take a clean slide and put few drops of the dilutant. a drop of glycerin over it, place the cover slip avoiding any air bubble under it, watch it under the 10x objective and then later 45x. Let's begin with the calculation. This is the slide of Arjuna. So first, we have to check for the calcium oxalate crystals present on the micrometer. The shape of the crystal is spherical and Arjuna rosate crystals are present. As you can see, we have to find the diameter of the crystal. The crystal is present between 50 and 60. We have to count the lines and then take that as diameter. We have to take at least 20 readings in S form. For that, adjust the slide by stage controls by moving them in S shape. Here we got 10 as our diameter. After that, we have to find the area of each crystal by using the formula pi r square. See, we got 10 and then from pi r square, we got 78.5. 
then we have to find the corrected dimensions by multiplying the area with the calibrated micrometer value. After calibrating ocular micrometer with stage micrometer, we got 1.3 microns. So multiplying 1.3 into 78.5, we get 102 micrometers. Like this we have to calculate for all the readings. Likewise, we can observe and calculate for Arjuna, Rubab and Kurchi.